Hello teachers! So I am back with another AI tip that you are going to love. So if you remember, we have spent some time talking about Copilot and how amazing it is. And for us HLP USD teachers, we have Copilot uh, for free by just using your email, uh, work email to log in, right? We've also uh, spent some time talking about Copilot the app on a mobile device, iOS or Android. If you have not seen that video uh, before, please check it out. But today I'm going to talk to about something that is really, really amazing, okay? Let me make myself a little bit smaller over here, okay? So Copilot, it's now available on your keyboard that you use on your phone. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to go into my App Store. Okay? And when you are in the App, app Store, I want you to look for Microsoft Swift Key AI keyboard. Go ahead and install it. So you might have um, right now, you might be using the keyboard that comes with your phone, whether it be an Android, maybe it's your Samsung keyboard. A lot of us have added, added a Gboard by Google, right? So I'm adding this keyboard. Notice what I'm gonna do it. Install, I went to the App Store. I'm going to open it, okay? It's going to open and I'm going to enable it. Swift key. And I'm, now it allows me to um, say which keyboard I want to use, okay? So I have a lot of different keyboards in here but I'm going to turn on my SwiftKey keyboard. That's going to become my keyboard for all of my apps. I'm going to say yes to this. And now uh, select it. So I selected it and now I can try it. So the second step is to select it. And now that I select it, I can try it. I'm going to say allow if I want to let notifications come through or don't allow. I'm going to go with do not allow. So now that you have it, you can, um, the first thing you want to do is you might want to add languages. So I also use Spanish all the time. So I wanna make sure that I have that Spanish um, added in there. And I never like the notifications, but notice that my Spanish, it's now in there. It's probably in the Spanish in there if you have another language that you wanna use. Also the layouts, how you might wanna have the layout. So you have a lot of different options right here. I'm going to leave it as it is with the English and Espanol in there. Let me go back, languages. You also have the ability to change themes if you wanted to. There's a lot of options right there. You have the ability to look at the way the typing looks like. So on this one, I want the autocorrect on right and I have other uh, quick predictions in there right there's a lot of different options that you have in here that's completely up to you there's other layout and keys i'm gonna go to that one because i actually want to have the numbers row in there when i use it and now what i want you to see is that it's all set up and when i come in here and let's say that i'm using it and i'm going to maybe write an email okay so maybe i'm gonna go in here and write an email a new email look at my keyboard that is going to come out so i have my new keyboard that i'm using which is this one right here and notice what i have in here okay so my keyboard looks like any other keyboard right but notice what is up here on the top left of the keyboard i have copilot i can come in here and it says welcome to copilot so i can actually ask ai anything in my keyboard got it okay you're just gonna have to agree and now my copilot and remember to turn on chat gpt4 so turn that on it's more creative and now i can ask it anything and i can use it inside of my keyboard so just so you know the ability to use this keyboard inside of your um on your mobile device and to be able to have it anytime you are typing something uh, it's going to be right there so you can change the chat search tone and compose if you wanted to you also can log, log yourself in if you wanted to but i'm just going to leave it like that and that is copilot inside of your keyboard on your mobile device if you have any questions on how to use this please let me know have a great day